Hi, how's everybody doing today? I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Nexi Innovations, Ash Guglani. How are you doing today, Ash? Thanks for having us, uh, Rich. I'm doing thank, well. Thank you for being here. Congratulations on your new IPO. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's been great so far. And your new US symbol, NEXNF, which is blowing up today. Congratulations on that. Well, thanks for that. So lots of good things that are happening, a lot of exciting news, a lot of uh, exciting things happening in general in the markets. But before we get into the entire sector and the super exciting sector that you're in, plant-based materials, can you please tell us a little bit about Nexi Innovations and how you got involved? Sure. So I, um, with this company, what we are, we are a product innovator. So, you know, what we do is we create uh disruptive, sustainable innovations uh, based on customer pain points using uh, advanced materials and uh, manufacturing technologies. And, uh, you know, our main focus right now is the, is the single serve coffee market or the single serve pod market, really. And, uh, you know, our, our first product is going to be a, a fully compostable uh, plant-based K-cup. And our second product uh, midway through the year, maybe even a little sooner, will be a uh, fully compostable plant-based Nespresso pod. Wow. And then from there, we'll go into uh, some other avenues. Uh, but, you know, the focus right now is executing on commercializing and scaling uh, those two businesses. And uh, yeah, that's, that's essentially what we are. What are the three main focuses of Nexi Innovations Inc.? Sure. So um, our main focus right now is commercializing and scaling our K-Cup business or our next pod business. Uh, so, you know, um, we're going to be in Q1, we'll be uh, uh, early Q1, we'll be commercializing our K-Cup. And then uh, throughout the first half of the year, we'll be able to scale that business as our new machinery arrives. Um, and then we'll be looking at, uh, obviously, Nespresso as well. But, you know, the three real focuses are commercializing and scaling on the single serve coffee side. Uh, we're also working on expanding our IP portfolio. Uh, you know, we've done... Uh, We've done a good job in uh, identifying a lot of uh, opportunities within our materials as well as within our automation uh, on the IP side. And we're working with a, a large firm out of the States to kind of identify those opportunities for us. And the third is going to be new product innovation outside of coffee. So, you know, uh, like I said, I think the main focus right now is to really nail coffee. And then uh, throughout the year, you'll see some new uh, product innovation in uh, some other markets. Well, coffee is a huge industry. Nexi Innovations Inc. recently announced its listing on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange, which we broke the news on the new IPO, and announcing its fully compostable plant-based single-serve coffee pod, which you mentioned. Can you please tell us how this will disrupt the coffee pod industry and what it means for Nexi Innovations Inc.? Sure. So, you know, uh, just kind of give you a... Uh, kind of an overarching thesis on coffee pods. Uh, you know, uh, most coffee, 50% of coffee is consumed in a single serve pod. Um, 50 billion plus pods are consumed around the world. About uh, wow. 18 billion uh, carry capsules are consumed and about 23 billion espresso pods. So uh, the distribution is massive. So, you know, this is an industry that's ready for disruption. So that's why I think this is why we're going to be able to really... Um, uh, catch a lot of eyes with a lot of different brands is or we have been able to so far is because you know we are probably the best environmentally uh, conscious uh, product out there for the uh, for, for the single surf pods very impressive and i think there's an enormous enormous upside here for your company and we've talked within our community about the fact that very Good Butchers has been a phenomenal plant-based food story in 2020, and our community has done extremely well on that stock. And I've actually already compared your stock to that stock, not because you guys are exactly the same. Obviously, they're in plant-based foods. You guys are plant-based materials and plant-based technology company, but because you guys are in this growing sector, the plant-based sector. Another company that we've featured that's done extremely well is Else Nutrition, Symbol Baby, which was a, a 10 bagger for our community. So we love to get into plant-based companies early. Our community does. Who would you say are Nexi Innovation Inc.'s main competitors, if any, and what sets you apart from them? You know, 
I don't think there's many competitors to what we're doing. Uh, you know, we're, we're really focusing on the packaging side. Um, you know, like I mentioned, we're, we're a product innovator. So we work with customers on, on their pain points. So, you know, there's not many, um, there's not many publicly traded uh, competitors to what we do. I don't even know if there's a lot of pr uh, privately traded or private companies that uh, I'd say are a good comparable for us. Wow. Okay. So you're kind of in a league of your own. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think the one thing that this company has done is, you know, we've taken five years to really understand uh, um, PLA, which is like a, a bio-based polymer uh, 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 from, I guess the source of it is corn. You know, it's, what we do and what we've learned about that material and how it reacts in a lab, how it reacts in a uh, K-cup machine versus how it reacts in an espresso machine, you know, we had to get that formulation right. Like, you know, we had to make sure that the uh, the pod wasn't melting in the uh, in the machine because, you know, it is a, it, there is some significant heat and pressure within a K-cup or an espresso machine as, uh, as it's brewing a cup of coffee. So, you know, we spent the last five years really learning how, this material reacts in a uh, machine as well as how it reacts in uh, lab testing and then uh, learning how it reacts with high speed automation. I mean, it was, uh, it, it was a long journey and there was a lot of, uh, a lot of pivots and uh, revisions, but the one thing that our company has done is, you know, we haven't compromised, you know, we've decided when we say we're fully plant-based, we are fully plant-based. We are using no uh, adhesives whatsoever. We're not using any fossil inputs to cheat you know, we are, uh, we are, a, we, we stuck to our mission five years ago and that's the beauty of what we do. And that's why I say, I don't think there's many companies like us because, you know, we don't, we don't know of too many other companies that understand PLA uh, as well as we do. Now, share structure is vital for our community. And one thing I've noticed with plant-based food companies like Very Good Butchers and others that are out there, they have very good share structures. Mm -hmm. Another one is Tattooed Chef, which has been really doing well in right. America. Uh, very tight share structures. What is your share structure like? And how many shares are held by insiders and institutions, if you don't mind sharing that information? Sure. So right now, our uh, share structure, our, our basic shares out is about $65 million. Very and good. our fully diluted numbers about 90 million. And that includes about 30 million of equity actually going into the company. So we've got wow. a pretty good share structure. Um, and, and I'd say insiders own about 20% of that, just Very over good. 20%. Very good. So a lot of uh, shares in friendly hands. Absolutely. Very yeah. good. Now, can you tell us who are your key members of your management and your, your team of Nexi Innovations and what do they bring to the table? Sure. So, you know, we, we've got, uh, we've got a best of all breeds uh, when it comes to our team, you know, we've got uh, Darren Foots, who's uh, the co-founder of the company. He's the uh, inventor. Uh, he's kind of the, uh, the brainchild of the whole thing. <clears throat> Darren, um, Darren's kind of overseeing the commercialization um, of the product. Um, we've got uh, Steve Lockhart who comes from uh, 30 years of retail experience. Uh, his family started choices markets out here. Uh, so he understands what a uh, customer wants. Uh, you know, we've got myself. Uh, I've spent uh, uh, 10 plus years in uh, investment banking, capital markets for a long time. I used to be a mining analyst. So, uh, you know, I understand, uh, you know, what's expected of a company and, you know, how we, we could uh, monetize on some of our opportunities here. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Paul Bogle, who helps with uh, automation, who really understands that side of the business. We've got... Um, um, Anthony Rosenfeld, uh, who came from Vega, uh, uh, which was a, uh, a plant-based protein, I believe. And, uh, you know, he understands, uh, uh, product distribution. We've got, um, uh, Don Chisholm, uh, Don uh, actually helped us rebrand from, uh, we used to be called G pack to next innovation. So it's got a bigger, you know, our ethos is a lot bigger than what it used to be. It's, uh, you know, we're not, we're not a compostable packaging company. You know, we're, we're, we're a product innovator and uh, you know, he's, he's helped us kind of really bring that up. But Don has, uh, you know, 25, 30 years plus of um, uh, product, uh, uh, product branding and marketing experience and uh, understands uh, what people want to see on the shelf. So no, we've got a, we've got a best of all breeds. We really do uh, on the operation side. If there was one thing you'd want shareholders to know about next innovations, what would it be? 
Uh, you know what? Uh, our, our timing is... Uh, our timing is great because, you know, we just went public. I think what, I guess we've had five or five trading days so far. And, uh, yeah. you know, we're, uh, we're, we're going to be commercializing here soon. So, you know, what we've learned for the last five years is, is now what's going to propel us to become a disruptive uh, product and a, and, and a proper product innovator. There's going to be investors that are going to see this video from all over the world. There's going to be potential joint venture partners, LOI opportunities, all kinds of different business opportunities that'll be generated from this video. Ash, what is the best way for shareholders to get in contact with the company? Sure. Uh, it, it, the best way is through our website, nextinnovations.com. It also has links to all our socials as well as uh, an investor's page uh, for people wanting more information. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Congratulations on your new IPO. I hope you continue to move forward in the right direction like you guys have been in 2021 and beyond. And we are here with Ash Guglani, the CEO of Next Innovations, Inc. Thank you for joining us today, Ash. Thanks so much. I uh, appreciate the support. So. Always a pleasure. Love to have you back on our show. Anytime you have big news, breaking news, or you want to do an interview or have us do a tour of your facility, I would love to. We're both in Vancouver, so let's try to get together sometime in the future. And let's make 2021 a huge year for Nexi investors and for everybody involved. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's, Ash. And uh, we'll see you soon in 2021. Yeah, no, thank you for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is Rich from Rich to be Live. Bring you N-E-X-E in Canada and N-E-X-N-F in America. And if you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below and share the video everywhere. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon.